the third digestive disorder is diarrhea a diarrhea now the contents of the gut we know after food is partially digested inside stomach food enters into small intestine and duodenum jejunum ileum here complete process of digestion is completed and absorption occurs around 1 and 1/2 liters of fluid is entering into large intestine see this is colon this is colon colon is second part of large intestine we have got cecum here with vermiform appendix here hmm? so th this is cecum where this is vermiform appendix Th that's vermiform appendix now this is colon as ascending colon transverse colon descending colon and uh, the sigmoid colon the sigmoid colon and uh, it opens into rectum which opens outside by anus now around 1 and 1/2 liters after after digestion is over inside the small intestine around 1 and 1/2 liters of fluid enters into large intestine now the main function of large intestine i mean colon is absorption of water so water is absorbed through the walls and after water is absorbed the undigested food now comes into rectum right so this is what's happening and during the process of diarrhea you can see even before that fluid is absorbed you can see increased movement our food is moving with the help of peristalsis involuntary wave like contractions now you can see increased movement of gut that means even before the fluid is absorbed that contents present in the gut is pushed outside so that frequent profuse discharge of the contents of gut outside is called as diarrhea frequent now and then profusely lot of fluids present inside the gut is coming outside the frequent and profuse discharge present of the contents of the gut being pushed outside is called as diarrhea frequent and profuse discharge of the contents of the gut i mean the large intestine being pushed outside it is called as diarrhea diarrhea can be acute or chronic acute means it is there for a short period of time it's gone chronic means it is there for a very long duration in diseased condition for example hiv is there so you can see chronic diarrhea so normal conditions of diarrhea includes includes diet diet includes contaminated water food and water spicy food artificial sweeteners food intolerance certain foods like lactose present in milk or milk products various infections like bacteria which includes salmonella shigella escherichia coli various viruses like hepatitis virus rotavirus various protozoans like entamoeba like giardia and various drugs like antibiotics and acids laxatives antihypertensive drugs
now dye area a dye area we saw contents present inside the large intestine or small intestine they are frequently and profusely pushed outside it is called dye area it can be acute or chronic now acute conditions it can be because of diet so we have gone outside we have taken contaminated food and water under that condition there is diarrhea understood spicy food some cases we have taken a lot of spicy food we are not able to digest it so there is diarrhea loose motions are there artificial sweeteners sometimes we have gone outside we have taken some liquids some cooling liquids outside so under that conditions they they are added with some artificial sweeteners so that artificial sweeteners so they are stimulating the gut so much so that there is more of contraction more of so there is diarrhea more water is pushed outside there is intolerance of food certain foods that we take for example milk milk products they contain lactose and in some cases lactose present in food it it results in diarrhea or because of infections of various bacteria viruses and protozoans and we know several organisms when they enter into our body for example salmonella salmonella typhi salmonella paratyphi causes typhoid and paratyphoid paratyphoid is a milder form of typhoid shigella shigella dysenteria which is present on fish is not improperly cooked or improperly stored fish and escherichia coli see these bacteria they cause diarrhea likewise hepatitis virus hepatitis virus is a virus which affects the liver so when the liver is damaged and rota virus see two viruses which might cause rota virus which affects the infants the kids and causes severe diarrhea and the protozoans the protozoans includes entamoeba of course there you call it as amoebiosis or amoebic dysentery there it is dysentery it's not diarrhea actually where there is profuse loose motion it is diarrhea where there is little bit of blood and mucus it is dysentery and giardia giardia intestinalis also called lamblia intestinalis is a protozoan parasite so this protozoan parasite so it is called grand old man of intestine so it causes diarrhea and certain drugs antibiotics we discussed antibiotics might cause vomiting it might also cause diarrhea and acids uh, in certain people there more acid is produced when they take more spicy foods so to counter that acid we take some antacids but antacids they have got side effects they produce diarrhea laxatives uh, like castor oil is a laxative you take honey in excess quantity it's a laxative but we take laxatives to avoid constipation right laxative is a substance which induce free motion so there where which induce free motion is laxative it it actually is causing diarrhea anti hypertensive drugs hypertension elevated blood pressure is hypertension to reduce hypertension we use certain drugs that drugs so they causes diarrhea so under variety of conditions there is diarrhea 